Dear Monsanto, this is a message that's time has come. Your time has come. This game's time is done. There's a part of me that wants to rip and tear you down, but an eye for an eye can't make the world go round. So I bring you this message with love and compassion for your reckless ways and your thoughtless action. Even though you patent seeds and poison our food, war on nature, ignore the people you screw, here's a message to the people that work for you, who drunk your Kool-Aid so long that they think it's true. A word to employees of Monsanto, here are some facts that you should but can't know. Like medicine, a dose of truth hurts at first. Its bitter taste could cause you to lose your thirst to work for a company in controversy. You think a protest like this comes from fantasy? Wake up please, this is about planetary survival to keep us species from becoming archival. I am the first person, put myself in your shoes. So buckle up and let me take you for a cruise. Are you ready? There's a place in India called the Suicide Belt Where the swift hand of death has been cruelly dealt To over a hundred thousand farmers who were sold a story How you ask, listen, it gun get gory This is a real story of a man named Shankar Who owned his own farm without need for bankers One day a sales rep knocked on his door With these new seeds we promised could make him crores We said these new seeds can do incredible wonders Increase your crop and fix all of your blunders Innocent trust he didn't see the plunder This is where the story begins to turn asunder Shankar took on loan sharks to pay for these seeds Confident now that he could get increased yields It started out fine but he soon realized Crop needed Monsanto's fertilizer to survive So he spent the extra money but it wasn't enough More hidden clauses made this new growing to tough So the next year when his crops failed to grow He panicked and ran back to Monsanto Sorry we told him we're not the ones to blame Once you find some more money we'll get you back in the game But in the meantime you can take another loan And a new batch of seeds which we promise will grow But Shankar Car had no money left on new seeds Lone shocks were threatening, immune to his pleas He was down to a choice now to give up and flee But then these shots would come and kill his family In panic and shame he grabbed her own pesticide Wrote notes to his family and stifled his cries And swallowed it, dying in terrifying pain Kids watching their dad writhing, dying in shame This is just one story of our devilish ways Can your stomach handle another of Monsanto's plays? And I wanna remind you, this is happening now This is not just the past, this shit is still allowed Over a thousand farmers kill themselves every month How can we sell a story that we know is so fucked? Can you really stay blind to what you are supporting? If so, let's examine some more of this story Are you Ready? Let's break it down. Let's break down why we're engineering our food. Is it the tale to increase supply as we've been told? Or feeding starving families in the third world? Let's see how this plan has really unfurled. So far there's been little increased supply. No long term tests on GMO and our lives. They are banned in almost all European states. And worldwide they are suffering a similar fate. So ask yourself, why are they playing us for fools? It starts with the laws of patent office rules. We've all seen debates about the patents on life. Devils in the details, here's the edge of the knife. Once food's been engineered to make its genes unique. It's a creative act with the right to reap proprietary benefits like any other idea a result of outdated laws and corrupt ideals so when the company is issued a patent form their exclusive right to this life form is born and now the mission is to sell and spread the patent like any company with a proprietary gadget so they market these seeds with falsified claims co-opting millions of farmers into their patent game who plant patents right into their fertile soil seeds produced from these plants are banned from being re-sown they can't be reused without Monsanto's permission a Monsanto Centopoly of food was always the vision. This is not about crop yield or helping the third world, it's about money, power, and control of the world. And now with the Monsanto Protection Act, you can't ban GMOs if and if the fact prove that they cause adverse health effects, removing the checks and balance because they pay checks to ballots. What? Do they really care about our health, bodies, and mind? Is not all of our food sacred and divine? How can religions say they're protecting God's creations when we allow corporations to modify and misshapen? The very perfection gifted to a race. This monstrosity of owning life should never take place. Incentivizing its blatant genetic manipulation with patents and corporate conglomeration. This is a sickness we must make all aware of. 
Out of all the things in life, this is one I'm scared of. I believe as humanity, we can create world peace. But if our food is denatured and owned by these thieves, there'll be nothing left to own. No life was in our blood. We'll have a stew of chemicals replacing our nutritious mud. But let's not forget we are the salt of this earth. But what happens to the earth when too much salt is dispersed? My goal is not to fight or destroy Monsanto. It's to educate you on some truths you should know. Find what you want to stand for in this time. This is the way I know how, encoding truth in a rhyme. I only serve one, the almighty divine. And I trust that her creation was perfect and fine. So I leave it alone and allow it to grow, knowing it nurtures mind, heart, body, and soul. The march against Monsanto is about to begin, but it's a march for humanity that ultimately wins. The march against Monsanto is about to begin, but it's a march for humanity that ultimately wins. March for humanity. For all the bees, for all the animals, for all the human beings, for all the children out there being raised on GMO corn and GMO soy products who are getting sick and allergies and dying. Food is built perfect and divine and it's nurtured us for billions of years. There's no need to genetically modify it and risk and endanger all of the species and all of the people on our planet. It's unnecessary. This is not about Monsanto. They're just the people who are perpetrating this agenda. This is about humanity, and this is a chance for us all to rise and stand up for something so important. Our food, our water, our air. Much love. This is the truth. Ramayan. Swami G. Peace out.